Hello, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a Met the Owner badge script on Roblox. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get the ID of the owner. So first of all, go to your Roblox profile on the website and in the URL bar at the top, you need to copy this number here. So if you right click and click copy or press Ctrl C, and then we can go back to Roblox and make the script. So what we're going to do is if you click the plus on server script service and insert a script, first of all we're going to make a variable for the owner's id so if we call that owner's id and then you can set that equal to what you just copied right and now we need to get the badge id of the badge but first of all we need to create that badge so if you go over to create.roblox.com slash creations and then if you find your game here you know, under experiences and then if you click the three dots and then click create badge and then first of all you need to upload an image for the badge alright so once you've uploaded your image you need to call it something so I'll say met the owner and then you can give it a description if you like so I'll say met the owner of the game and then once you're done here you can click create badge and then if you click on the three dots and then click copy asset ID you can copy the ID of the badge then if we head over back to Roblox Studio, we can make a second variable called badge ID. And we can set that to the badge ID that you just copied. Alright, so now we need to check when a player joins, if it's the owner that's joined, or if the owner's already in the game. So, to do that, we need to make an event that fires every time someone joins the game. So how we do that is we do added or connect function so this is a function that runs every time a player is added to the game and then in these brackets here we can take the player object that's joining the game so if we call that plr so first of all what we're going to do is check if the player that's joined is the owner so how we're going to do that is say if player dot user id is equal to owner's id then and now we're going to loop through every player in the game. So to loop through all the players, we're going to use a for loop. So to that, you use for, and then you can use i, comma v, but we don't need the index, we just need the value. So we're going to do underscore, comma, player, in pairs, game dot players, or get players, do, in all the players in the game, run this code so we need to use badge service first of all so if you go back to the top of the script and we need to create another variable and call it badge service so we're going to use the roblox badge badge service so to get the badge service you need to do game colon get service badge service and now we've got that we can go back to the for loop so if if the owner is joining the game then it loops through each player in the game and it needs to award them the badge so the way you award someone a badge is do badge service colon award badge and then in a pair of brackets the user id of the person you want to give the badge to and the id of the badge itself so we need the idea of the player so if we do player dot user id and then a comma and then the badge id Right, and now you've done that, it should go through each player and award them the badge. But now, if a player joins and the owner's already in the game, we need to check that. So, the way we do that is do else. So if it's not the owner, then we need to loop through every player that's already in the game and check if they're the owner. So the way we can do that is again use a for loop with for underscore player in pairs game dot players one gets players do if player dot user id equals equals owner's id then so what this is doing is looping through all the players that are already in the game and if one of those players is the owner then we need to award the badge to that player so the way we do that is exactly the same as we did it before so we can just copy this and paste it again however we're awarding it to the player that's just joined. So if we change that to PLR, because that's the name of the variable of the player that's just joined, 
So, if the owner's in the game, then award the badge to the player that's joining. So, if we look through all the code that we've written. So first we had two variables, so this is the owner's ID, which is your ID, and then the ID of the badge. And then we've got the badge service from Roblox, which lets us interact with badges. And then we've got an event that runs every time someone joins the game. And then we're checking if the person that's joined the game is the owner. And if they are, then it loops through every player in the server and awards them with the met the owner badge. But if the person that's joining isn't the owner, we loop through all the players that are already in the game and check to see if the owner's already in the game. And if they are, then award the person that's joining with the welcome badge. So, if we play the game here. So, now we're in. I am the owner after all. If we go back to the game and refresh, you'll see one person's won the badge. There you go. I don't know why it didn't appear down here, but as you can see, we got the badge anyway. So, that was how you make a welcome badge in Roblox Studio. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.